Hello again, folks. Welcome back to Max's Cards and Dice Dugout. This is episode number 47. Hope everyone's doing well. I know I've been away for about two weeks, but uh, work and uh, some other, other family obligations have uh, taken up a lot of my time recently. You know how it goes, but we're back tonight, and we are back with um, Stratomatic Old Timer Kings, King of the Hill Tournament. Uh, this is game number 10, and this is going to have the 1953 Brooklyn Dodgers visiting the 1965 Minnesota Twins. Before we get to the starting lineups, let's take a look at the situation of the hill as it stands after game nine. Of course, the Twins, the 65 Twins, are the current kings of the hill, having defeated the 61 Reds in game nine. They're going to face the Dodgers, the 53 Dodgers, who were the original king of the hill, uh, by that initial uh, luck of the draw when we started the tournament. And the 61 Tigers are lying in wait to take on the winner of this game. So this will be the Twins' first defense of the hill and Brooklyn's second visit to the hill. <clears throat> Excuse me, let's get to the starting lineups. First for the visiting Brooklyn Dodgers, 1953. Book Brooklyn Dodgers uh, leading off. It's Jim Gilliam at second base. Pee Wee Reese, shortstop at second. Duke Snyder in center field bats third. Jackie Robinson in left field bats fourth. Roy Campanella, the catcher, bats fifth. Gil Hodge is at first base. He's batting sixth. Carl Ferrillo is in right field. He's batting seventh. Billy Cox is at third base. He's batting eighth and batting ninth. And pitching is Russ Meyer. He is a number one hitting pitcher, so he will get a number one pitcher's hitting card in the lineup. Now for the home king of the hill, 1965 Minnesota Twins leading off at shortstop is Zoilo Versalis. Center fielder Jimmy Hall bats second. Tony Oliva in right field bats third. Harmon Killebrews at third base. He bats fourth. Bob Allison's in left field. He's batting fifth. Earl Batty's the catcher. He bats sixth. Don Mincher's at first base. He's seventh. Jerry Kendall's at second base. He's batting eighth and batting ninth. And pitching is Mudcat Grant. Uh, Mudcat Grant in 1965 was 21 and 7 with the 3.3 ERA and 270 innings pitched. He is a number two hitting pitcher, so he will get a number two card. I did not mention Russ Meyer's line or his stats rather, in 1953, he was 15 and five with a 4.57 ERA in 191 innings pitched. Okay, so we're ready to go here. Metropolitan Stadium, Budcat Grant has finished his warm-up tosses. And Jim Gilliam steps up to the plate and I drop a die before we get started. No worries, we got it. And, oh, one other thing I need to mention. Both of these pitchers are starting pitchers, so they will have 11 uh, fatigue points before they are fatigued, or stamina points, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so Jim Gilliam leading off for the Brooklyn Dodgers. He's going to face Mudcat Grant, and we are underway. And it's a 111, and a 111 is a pop-out to shortstop. Versalis is under that, and there is one away. Next up, Pee Wee Reese, Dodgers shortstop. It's a 2 6, and a 2 6 is a double on a 1 to 3, single on a 4 to 20. That's a one out single for Pee Wee Reese. So the Dodgers have a man on first with one out. His stealing is an A. That's a 1 to 15 with, uh, let's see, Batty's a 2. That would drop to a 1 to 13. We're going to take a chance and send Pee Wee Reese right off the bat here. So, Duke Snyder's up to bat. Mudcat Grant delivers, and there goes Pee Wee Reese at 16, and he is thrown down. Out. Thrown out by Earl Batty for out number 2. Caught stealing. There are two away. So nobody on base for Duke Snyder. 
Dodgers center fielder. That's a 3-3, three, three, and a 3-3 three, three is a fly ball to right field. Tony Oliva is under that, makes the catch, and that's out number three. So the Dodgers do not score in the top of the first, and after one half inning of play, it's the Dodgers zero and the Twins coming to bat. Russ Meyer comes out. He's taking his warm-up tosses. Soilo Versalis up to the plate. Meyer's ready. He delivers. We have a 6-3, and a 6-3 is a pop-out to second base. Gilliam's under that, makes the catch, and there is one away. Here in the bottom of the first. Here's Jimmy Hall. Twins right, excuse me, center fielder. That's a 4-6, and a 4-6 is a strikeout. That's the first strikeout for Russ Meyer, and there are two away. Here's Tony Oliva. Two, or... Two outs, no one on. That's a 2-8, and a 2-8 is a ground ball to shortstop. That's going to be Pee Wee Reese over to Gil Hodges for out number three. And the Twins go 1-2-3 in the bottom of the first. After one inning of play, there's no score. Uh, both Meyer and Mudcat Grant get one fatigue point. So on the top of the second, Mudcat Grant is going to face Jackie Robinson, Roy Campanella, and Gil Hodges. Here's Jackie Robinson. Looks like my cards are a little off screen here. So let me make a little a bit of an adjustment. I think we can see everything now. Okay, here's Jackie Robinson. That's a 6-8, and a 6-8 is a fly ball to left field. And that is uh, Bobby Allison under that. There's one away. Here's Roy Campanella. We have a 6-8, and a 6-8 is a fly ball to left field. Allison's under the, that as well, and there are two away. Allison's busy here in the top of the second. So two outs, nobody on for Gil Hodges. And that is a 5-5, five, five, and a 5-5 five, five is a ground ball to second base. And that's going to be uh, Kindle over to Mincher for out number three. So the Dodgers go one, two, three in the top of the second. And after one and a half innings of play, we have no score. Another point for uh, Grant. He's at two. All right, Russ Myers going to face Killebrew, Allison, and Batty. That is a 2-9, and a 2-9 is a walk. Lead-off walk for Harmon Killebrew. And the Twins have their first base runner. Uh, he is no threat to steal with a rating of an E. Here's Bob Allison, and that is a 2-4, and a 2-4 is a fly ball to right field. Carl Ferrullo's under that, makes the catch. Killebrew holds it first, and there's one away. Here's Earl Batty, Twins catcher. And that's a 4-4, and a 4-4 is a walk. So that's a one-out walk for Batty, second walk issued this inning by Grant, or excuse me, by Meyer. That moves Killebrew to second, and it's first and second with one out for Don Mincher. We have a 5-10, and a 5-10 is a fly ball to left field C. And uh, Jackie Robinson has that, but he sent back to the wall, and that's going to allow Killebrew and Batty both to move up. One base, so it's second and third with two outs for Jerry Kendall, the twin second baseman. And that's a 1-9, and a 1-9 yeah, is a strikeout. So Meyer gets out of the jam by striking out Kendall. That's his first strikeout and a third out of the inning. And Meyer will get his second fatigue point. So the Twins do threaten in the bottom of the second, but do not score. And after two innings of play, 
We are tied at zero. Okay, Mudcat Grant back out here for the top of the third. And it's going to be Carl Ferrillo, Cox, and Russ Meyer. <clears throat> Here's Carl Ferrillo. That's a 3-5. And a 3-5 is a home run on a 1-16. And that ball is back deep, high, out of here, gone. And the Dodgers are on the board. Solo shot for Carl Ferrillo. And it is 1-0. And Mudcat Grant picks up another fatigue point. Good start for the top of the third for the Dodgers. Here's Billy Cox. That is a 5-8 and a 5-8. Oh, boy. It's a 1. On a 1-17, to 17, that ball is driven high, deep, left field. Jackie Robinson watches it go over his head. And we have back-to-back -back solo shots for the Brooklyn Dodgers here in the top of the third. And it is now 2-0. Mudcat Grant picks up another fatigue point. He's up to four. Russ Meyer comes to the plate with a smile on his face, and here we go. We've got a 4-9, and a 4-9 is a fly ball to center field. Hall's under that, makes the catch, and there's one away. Back to the top of the order for the Dodgers and Jim Gilliam. Gilliam is 0 for 1. He popped out to shortstop his first time up. That is a 2-4, and a 2-4 is a ground ball to second base. That is going to be Kindle to uh, Minch, Don Mincher for out number 2. And there are two away. Here's Pee Wee Reese. Pee Wee Reese singled in the first but was caught stealing. There's a 1-9, and a 1-9 is a triple on a 1-7, a double on anything higher than that. He rolls an 18, so that's a two-out double for Pee Wee Reese. And he's two for two, and he's on second base in scoring position with two outs for Duke Snyder. And we get a 2-10 from Snyder, and that ball is deep out of here, center field. High, long, gone. Home run, and the Dodgers are lighting it up. A two-out, two-run home run for Duke Snyder. And now the Brooklyn Dodgers lead 4 nothing. And Grant gets two more fatigue points. So he is at six here in the third. And the Dodgers, or excuse me, the Twins are going to start some action in their bullpen. Um, it's going to be Jim Perry. Jim Perry's going to start warming up if Mudcat Grant can't get out of this inning. Uh, he's going to come in early for him. So here's Jackie Robinson, no one on two outs. And that is a 1-5, and a 1-5 is a single, another base hit. And Jim Perry's throwing a little bit quicker now in the bullpen. Robinson's on first with two outs. With the four-run lead, he's going to stay put at first base. Here's Roy Campanella. We have a 3-11, and a 3-11 is a ground ball to third base. That is Harm Killebrew over to Don Mincher for out number three. But the Dodgers score four runs on three home runs in the top of the third. And after two and a half innings of play, they lead 4-0. Uh, Mudcat Grant gets his seventh fatigue point. <clears throat> Russ Myers out here with a four-run lead in the bottom of the third. And he's going to face his counterpart. Now, Grant's staying in the game uh, since he got out of that jam. And that is a 6-7, and a 6-7 is a pop-out to first base. And uh, Gil Hodges is under that, makes the catch easily, and there's one away. Zoilo Versalis, twin shortstop. He's 0 for 1. He popped out to second base his first time up, and there's a 5-11, and a 5-11 is a ground ball to first base. Gil Hodges takes that unassisted for out number 2.
Two outs, no one on for Jimmy Hall. Uh, Hall struck out in the first inning. That's a 6-7, and a 6-7 is a pop out to first base. Gil Hodges underneath that makes the catch, and the Dodgers go, or excuse me, the Twins go 1-2-3 in the third, and after three innings of play, it's the Brooklyn Dodgers 4, and the Twins nothing. Mudcat Grant is back out here. We have to give Meyer his third fatigue point. Uh, Mudcat's at 7. So Jim Perry's going to warm up as needed. He will come in uh, if Grant gets in trouble or if he reaches his fatigue point. But he's going to face uh, Gil Hodges, Carl Ferrillo, and Cox. And that is a 6-9. And a 6-9 is a fly ball to right field. And... Uh, Excuse me, uh, Tony Oliva is under that, makes the catch, and there's one away. Here's Carl Ferrillo. Homer his last time up. There's a 2-5, and a 2-5 is a fly ball to center field. This time doesn't quite get it as well as he did last time. Hall's underneath it, makes the catch for out number two. Two outs, nobody on for Billy Cox. And that's a 4-4, four, four, and a 4-4 four, four is a two-out walk. So Cox is on first base with two away. And here's Russ Meyer. Uh, Russ Meyer flew out to center field his first time up. There's a 1-7, and that's a strikeout. That's the second strikeout for Mudcat Grant, and the third out of the inning So the Dodgers do not score in the top of the fourth, and after after three and a half innings of play, it's the Dodgers four and the Twins nothing. Tony Oliva is going to lead off for the Dodgers here. We've got to give Grant another fatigue point. He is up to eight. Tony Oliva is up. It'll be Oliva, Killebrew, and Allison here in the bottom of the fourth for the Twins. And that is a 5-7, and a 5-7 is a strikeout. That's strikeout number three for Russ Meyer, and that's one away. Here's Harm Killebrew. That's a 2-12, and a 2-12 is a fly ball to left field. Uh, Jackie Robinson's under that, makes the catch easily, and it's out number two. Right now, Myers is cruising. Four-run lead. He's relaxed on the mound, and here's Bob Allison. And that is a 1-6, and that's a fly ball to left field. Jackie Robinson, just like the last out, makes this one, and that's 1-2-3 for the Twins in the fourth. Meyer gets his fourth fatigue point, and after four innings of play, it's the Brooklyn Dodgers four and the Minnesota Twins nothing. Mutcat Grant is coming back out. Jim Perry is still warming up as needed in the bullpen. We got the top of the order for the Dodgers. That's Gilliam, Reese, and Snyder. Here's Jim Gilliam. He is 0 for 2. There's a 3-5, and a 3-5 is a walk, a leadoff walk for Jim Gilliam here in the fifth. Uh, he's not going to attempt to steal with the four-run lead. And here's Pee Wee Reese. That is a 4-3, and a 4-3 is a ground ball to first base X. First eight, first X check of the ball game. Uh, let's see. Twins first baseman is Don Mincher. He is a 3, and we roll a 2 on the 3. And that is a single with a 2 base advance. So that's going to put runners on the corners with nobody out. Gilliam moves over to third. Reese is on first. No one out for Duke Snyder. Uh, the Twins are going to bring the infield in. And that is a 3-7. And a 3-7 is a walk. And that loads the bases up. And I think that's going to be it for Mudcat Grant. Uh, Jim Perry's going to come out and relieve him here. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, Grant is up fourth in the inning. No, we're going to leave. Uh, we're going to. We're not going to do a double switch. But that's it for Mudcat Grant. Uh, he's given up four runs, and he's responsible for all three runners on base. So he's replaced by Jim Perry. And his first batter is going to be Jackie Robinson. Perry in here. Okay. All right. So base is loaded with nobody out. For Jackie Robinson, the infield is still in. And that's a 3-5. And a 3-5, Jim Perry walks in a run. My goodness. So Jackie Robinson picks up the RBI on the walk. Gilliam scores, and it's now 5-0, and Perry gets a fatigue point. Bases are still loaded. Infield is still in for Roy Campanella, and that is a 3-10, and a 3-10 is a ground ball to third base A. So the runner on third, uh, with the infield in, the runner on third holds. Other runners advance run base. The batter is out. Well, if the base is loaded... The runner on third is out, and the batter is safe. Okay, so uh, where did we say that ground ball went to? That was a uh, ground ball to third base. So that is going to be Killebrew. That's a fielder's choice. He goes to first. Campanella. Robinson to second. Snyder to third. And Reese is thrown out at home. 5-2. That's Killebrew to Batty. All right, so the bases are still loaded with one out. Infield is still in, and here's Gil Hodges. And that is a 1-2. And so 1-2 is a fly ball to right field B. And that's going to score a run. So that's a sack fly. The other runners are going to hold. So Hodges sacrifice flies for the second out. And Snyder scores, and it's now 6 nothing. Hodges gets an RBI. Perry gets another fatigue point. So it's first and second with two outs for Carl Ferrillo. And that is a 4-4. Four, four. It's a ground ball to third base X. This could be trouble because Killebrew is a 4. Oh, looking at the wrong chart. You have to forgive me here. The killer brews a four at third base. So let's see what happens. He rolls a six. And a six is a single with a one base advance. So Killebrew can't make the play. It's uh, scored as a single. And that's going to load the bases up again. Two outs, the infield will be back for uh, Billy Cox. That's a 4-7, and a 4-7 is a ground ball to second base X. We're getting a lot of X checks all of a sudden. Uh, let's see. Kindle is a 2, and we roll a 5. And that's a ground out. So he's going to go the short way. Or no, he's going to go to first. So Billy Cox grounds out 4-3 to end the inning. But the uh, Dodgers score two more runs, and after four and a half innings of play, they lead 6 nothing. Perry gets his third fatigue point. Now, he is a starter reliever, so he's only eligible, or he gets fatigued after seven points. All right, for the Twins here in the bottom of the fifth, it's going to be Batty, Mincher, and Kendall. And that's a 1-7, and a 1-7 is a ground ball to third base. That's going to be Cox over to Hodges for out number one. Don Mincher, <clears throat> he's 0 for 1. That's a 411, and a 411 is a catcher's card X. All right, so Roy Campanella is a 1. We roll a 16. 
And on a 16, it's a wild pitch followed by a foul out. So there's no one on base. So the wild pitch is sort of uh, N.A. Well, it happened. So I'll record that here, wild pitch. But uh, Minter fouls out to Roy Campanella, and there are two away here in the bottom of the fifth. Here's Jerry Kendall. And that is a 2-7, and a 2-7 is a strikeout. That is strikeout number four for Russ Meyer and the third out of the inning. So after five innings of play, it's the Brooklyn Dodgers six and the Minnesota Twins nothing. Jim Perry's going to face his counterpart, Russ Meyer, and then back to the top of the order with Jim Gilliam here in the top of the sixth. Meyer gets his fifth fatigue point. He's at five and cruising along. Here's a 1-9, and a 1-9 is a strikeout. That's the first strikeout for Jim Perry. There's one away here in the top of the sixth. Back to the top of the order, second baseman Jim Gilliam. Gilliam is 0 for 2 with a walk and a run scored. That is a 2-10, and 2-10 is a ground ball back to pitcher Jim Perry. And he tosses over to Don Mincher for out number 2. It's 1 3. They're two away. Base is empty. And Pee Wee Reese. Reese is 3 for 3 with a run score. He was caught stealing and also thrown out at home. But he does have a run scored. <clears throat> okay, that's a 5 9. And a 5 9 is a fly ball to center field. Uh, hauls underneath that, makes a catch for out number 3. And the Twins go one, two, or excuse me, the Dodgers go one, two, three in the top of the six. And after five and a half, the Dodgers lead six, nothing. Russ Myers coming back out. Of course, he's working on a shutout here. Uh, but that looks like it's going to be it for, <clears throat> excuse me, Jim Perry. And we're going to have a pinch hitter. And that is going to be. Rich Rollins, he's going to pinch hit for uh, Perry. So that's Rollins. Pinch hit in the bottom of the sixth. So Perry never bat it. And uh, let's see who we're going to get warming up here for the Twins. Uh, going to be Dave Boswell. He's going to start warming up for the Twins. And he'll come out in the top of the seventh. Okay, but here's Rich Rollins facing Russ Meyer. Dodgers lead 6-0. It's the bottom of the sixth. And we have a 110. And a 110 is a pop out the third base. And Cox is underneath that. And he makes the catch for out number one. There's one away. So Rollins is out of the game. And Zoilo Versalis, twin shortstop. He is 0 for 2. And that's a 110. And a 110 is a double on a 1 to 4. And he hits a one out single. So Versalis is on first base with one away. He's an ace stealer. Uh, but we're not running against Campanella. That's not going to happen here. So he's going to stay put at first base. And here's Jimmy Hall. 6 nothing, One out in the bottom of the six. Man on first. And we have a 2-4. And a 2-4 is a pop out to second base. Uh, Jim Gilliam's under that. And... He makes the catch, and what did I do here? I put Versalis's uh, single in the wrong place, so that's an X there. Okay, so 
uh, Hall popped out to second base for out number two. So there's a man on first with two outs. And Tony Oliva. Tony Oliva is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. And that's a 5-6. And a 5-6 is a ground ball to second base. And it's going to be Gilliam to Gil Hodges for out number 3. And the Twins go quietly in the bottom of the 6. And after 6 innings of play, it's the Dodgers 6 and the Twins nothing. Uh, Meyer gets his 6th endurance point. And Jim Perry's coming back out. Or no, excuse me. Jim Perry has been replaced. I apologize. By Dave Boswell. Looks like I got two cards there. And Boswell is going to face uh, Duke Snyder, Jackie Robinson, and Roy Campanella. Tall order. Okay, Boswell in the top of the seventh. And he's going to face Duke Snyder, first batter. Dodgers lead 6 0. That is a 5 10, and a 5 10 is a leadoff walk. Not a good start for Boswell. So Snyder's on first with nobody out and Jackie Robinson. That is a 2-9, and a 2-9 is another walk. My goodness. First and second, nobody out. Roy Campanella, who is 1 for 3, or excuse me, he's 0 for 3. Reach base on a fielder's choice. And that is a 5-11, and that is a ground ball to third base X. And once again, it's Harm Killerbrew, who is a four. Could be trouble. We roll an 18 on a four. Out with no runners on base for. If runners, if no runners are forced, runners hold. With one or more runners forced, batter is safe. Disregard previous result. Runner on first is outgoing to second. Other runners advance one base. So it's a fielder's choice. Uh, Robinson is thrown out on the fielder's choice for the first out. Snyder moves to third. And Campanella reaches, reaches first on the fielder's choice. All right, so that was a 5-4 uh, put out. So it's first and third with one out. Gil Hodges, the infield's coming in. And that's a 6-9, and a 6-9 is a fly ball to center field. <clears throat> that's going to score Duke Snyder. So Hodges has another sacrifice RBI for the second out, but it scores Snyder, and it's now 7-0 Dodgers. And Dave Boswell gets his first endurance point. And Campanell holds it first. So, it's a man on first with two outs for Carl Ferullo. And that's a 5-10, and a 5-10 is a walk. My goodness, third walk issued this inning by Dave Boswell. And that's going to move Roy Campanella up to second. So, it's first and second with two outs. And Billy Cox, uh, the Dodgers' third baseman, uh, he hit a home run in the first inning. And he's one for two. And that is a 2-2, two -two, and that's a ground ball to third base. <clears throat> Harm Killer Brew goes the short way over to uh, Kendall for the third out. So we're going to call that a 5-4 for out number three. But the Dodgers do score another run, and after six and a half innings, lead 7-0. Russ Meyer cruising right along here. I uh, need to give Boswell a second endurance point for the inning. Okay, can we see this? All right. I, hopefully I haven't moved the cards out of camera view. I know I'm guilty of that sometimes. So uh, here in the bottom of the seventh, it's uh, Russ Meyer's going to face Killebrew, Allison, and Batty, and that is a 2-6. And a 2-6 is a deep fly ball to center field. 
over the head of Duke Snyder. It is a solo home run, and the Twins are on the board with the Harm Killebrew solo shot, and Russ Meyer picks up an extra fatigue point there. And the Twins are on the board, and now trail 7-1. to one. Here's Bob Allison. And that is a 1-9. And a 1-9 is a deep fly ball to the left field, we're going to say. What the heck? It's high, deep, out of here, gone, back-to-back -back home runs. And the Minnesota faithful are starting to wake up. And now it's 7-2. to two, And Meyer gets his eighth endurance point. So 7-2, nobody out, and here's Earl Batty, and that is a 5-7, and a 5-7 is a deep fly ball to center field, way back, high, out of here, gone, back to back to back, home runs for the Twins, and it is now 7-3, and Meyer gets his... Ninth endurance point, and the Dodgers are going to get some action in the bullpen, and it's going to be Johnny Padres. All right. So here it is, 9-3. to three. Bottom of the seventh, nobody out. We've had home runs by Killebrew, Allison, and Earl Batty, and here's Don Mincher, and that is a 111, and a 111 is a ground ball to third base. And that's going to be Cox over to Hodges for out number one and a sigh of relief from Russ Meyer. There's one away here in the bottom of the seventh. Here's Jerry Kindle. Kindle's 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. And that's a 5'11", and he grounds out to uh, Gil Hodges, who takes that unassisted for the second out. And I am, yeah, here we go. Don't mind me. All right, two away. And it's the pitcher spot. Well, that's going to be it. Uh, boy, I don't know. I'm running out of pitchers here. That's the one thing with these 20-card 20, 20 sets. Uh, yeah, you're kind of limited. But, yes, we're going to send up Sandy Valdespino to pinch hit. And Jim Merritt is going to be the next... Uh, Pitcher for the Twins. So that's Valdespino. And he's batting here. And Jim Merritt will be the next pitcher for the Twins in the top of the eighth. All right, so here's Valdespino. And that is a 2-6. And a 2-6 is a pop out the first base. Gil Hodges has that, and it's out number three. But the Twins do score three runs and wake up the crowd here in Minnesota. And after seven innings of play, it's the Dodgers seven and the Twins three. <clears throat> so the new pitcher for the Twins is Jim Merritt. And he's going to face his counterpart, Russ Meyer, who's still out there. And we got a right merit in here. And I need to give Meyer... No, actually, Meyer, we're going to pinch hit for him because he is at nine fatigue points. Uh, we still have a four-run lead. No, I'm going to let him hit. All right, so it's Merritt. Facing his counterpart, Russ Meyer. And that is a 1-5, and a 1-5 is a strikeout. So Meyer strikes out for the first out of the inning. First strikeout for Merritt. And we go back to the top of the order in Jim Gilliam. I have to think ahead with the Dodgers because if they win this game, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I don't want to use up all of my... Uh, bullpen because I want them to be available for their next opponent, who's going to be the Dodgers, or excuse me, the Tigers, uh, if they do hold on to win this. All right, there's one out, nobody on, Jim Gilliam, top of the eighth. It's a 5-7, and a 5-7 is a strikeout, so that's two strikeouts in a row for Merritt.
Two outs, nobody on. Pee Wee Reese. That's a 6 8. And a 6 8 is a single on a 1 to 2. But no, he lines out to second baseman uh, Kendall. And that's out number three. So the Dodgers go quietly in the eighth, and after seven and a half innings of play, it's the Dodgers seven and the Twins three. Russ Meyer is coming back out. We got to give uh, Merritt his first fatigue point. Uh, we're going to leave him out here as long as we can. Uh, we're at the top of the order for the Twins here in the bottom of the eighth, but we're going to leave Meyer out here as long as we can just to uh, try to save the bullpen. Uh, in anticipation of uh, holding on and winning this game. All right, so that's a 4-3, and a 4-3 is a pop-out to second base. Uh, Gilliam has that, and there is one away here in the bottom of the eighth. It's Jimmy Hall, Minnesota center fielder. That's a 1-4, and a 1-4 is a one-out single. So maybe the Twins are in business here. So Hall's on first base with one out. Tony Oliva. Oliva is 0 for 3. Been pretty quiet this game. And that is a 1-8. And a 1-8 is a single on a 1-15. to And that's a 1. So that's a 1 base advancing single. So it's going to be first and second with one out for the Twins here in the bottom of the 8th. And Johnny Padres is uh, warming up again. So it's first and second with one out and Harmon Killebrew, who homered his last time up and got things going for <clears throat> the Twins. But this time he grounds to the pitcher. And uh, let's see. Ground ball B. And that's actually going to be a double play, an inning-ending double play. And that's going to go 1-6-3. And I'm putting it in the wrong place. 1-6-3 for outs 2-3. and three. And although the Twins threaten here in the bottom of the eighth, they do not score. And after eight innings of play, it's the Dodgers... Seven and the Twins three. Uh, Meyer gets his tenth endurance point, and I think we're going to bring him out for the ninth, uh, unless he gets in trouble or gets fatigued. All right, so Merritt's back out here for the top of the ninth, and he's going to face Duke Snyder, Jackie Robinson, and Roy Campanella. And that's a five eleven, and a five eleven is a ground ball to first base X. Uh, first baseman. Don Mincher is a three. We roll an 11. On a three and 11 is an out with no runners on base. Okay, so that's an unassisted play by Mincher for out number one. Duke Snyder is retired. That's an unassisted three, and there's one away here in the top of the ninth. And now we have uh, Jackie Robinson who is 0 for 1 with a couple of walks. And that's a 4-9, and a 4-9 is a fly ball to left field. Uh, Bob Allison's under that, makes the catch for out number 2. Two outs, nobody on for Roy Campanella. That is a 6-9, and a 6-9 is a double on a 1. He rolls an eight, and that is a two-out single for Roy Campanella. So two outs, man on first for Gil Hodges. Hodges is 0 for 2 with a couple sacks and two RBIs, and that is a 3-11, and a 3-11 is a walk. So now there's runners on first and second with two outs. And Carl Ferullo, who homered his first time up, and he's one for three. And that's a 4-7, and that's a strikeout. So Merritt gets out of the uh, 
potential jam there with his uh, third strikeout for the third out here in the top of the ninth. And the Dodgers do not score, but after eight and a half, they lead seven to three. Russ Meyer is going to come back out. Uh, we have Johnny Padres ready, but I'm going to see if there's a closer type here in this pitching staff. Uh, I'm not terribly familiar with this team. I mean, I know the star players, but, well, we're going to bring Padres in if we need to. But for right now, Russ Meyer uh, is staying out there. Merrick gets his second fatigue point. So Meyer is at uh, five, six, seven, eight. Now, he has one fatigue point left. So the first run he gives up, he's going to have to leave the game. But he's going to face uh, Bob Allison, Earl Batty, and Don Mincher here in the ninth. And that is a 6-6. Six, six. And that's a strikeout. That is strikeout number five for Russ Meyer. There's one away here in the bottom of the ninth. Here's Earl Batty. He has homered this game. Uh, he's one for two with a home run, RBI, and a walk. And that's a 4-3. And a 4-3 is a pop out to second base. Jim Gilliam's under that, and he makes the catch for out number two. And the Twins are down to their last dance, last chance for love. And if you know that reference, I feel your pain. Here's Doug Mincher. Two outs, nobody on. Last chance for the Twins. And that is a 3-6. And a 3-6 is a two-out walk. So the Twins are still in business. Um, Mincher staying out. Or excuse me, Meyer staying out there. And here's Jerry Kendall. Kendall's 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. And that is a 3-6. And a 3-6 is a walk. Johnny Padres is ready to go if need be. It's first and second with two outs. And the Twins are going to need a pinch hitter. And it's going to be Jerry Zimmerman. He's going to pinch hit for uh, Merritt. Near the bottom of the ninth. So it's first and second with two outs. Uh, Meyer staying out there. Padres is ready to go. He just needs one out to get out of this and return to the hill and send Minnesota a tumbling. And that is a 1 8, and a 1 8 is a strikeout. And that's how this game ends. Russ Meyer, complete game. Holds off a late charge by the Twins. And the Dodgers win this game 7-3. See if we can get some totals for you here. Uh, the Dodgers 7 runs on... Seven hits, no errors. The Twins had three runs on. Wow, Myers, Meyer pitched a pretty good, pretty good game. Uh, ten, the Twins had their first hits in the seventh inning when they had the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back home runs. So that's three hits there, four, five, six. Three runs on six hits. No errors. The winning pitcher, of course, is Russ Meyer. And the loss goes to Mudcat Grant. So we have a new king of the hill in the Brooklyn Dodgers. Their first return to the hill. And they will face the Detroit Tigers again in game number 11. That was uh, game one was the Tigers and the Twins. The Tigers won that game and sent the Twins, or not the Twins, excuse me, the Dodgers, the Tigers won that game and sent the initial King of the Hill Dodgers a tumbling down to the bottom. Well, they now have done that to Minnesota. And uh, the Twins uh, will have to wait a while to play again. 
And in game 11, it will be these Brooklyn Dodgers facing the 1961 uh, Detroit Tigers. That's going to do it for this episode. If you hung around, I appreciate your patience, and I thank you for hanging out with me. And I'll be back again in the near future when I can. Uh, time is kind of limited for me right now. I was glad to get this game in tonight. It'll probably be tomorrow or the next day till I'm able to uh, do the editing I have to do and get it posted to Facebook. No, not Facebook. YouTube. But until then, take care.